Each year, more than 3,000 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with a brain tumor. There are over 120 different types of brain tumors, making effective treatment very complicated. Brain tumors are a leading cause of cancer deaths among children. How do you know if your child is sick? And what do you do if your child is diagnosed with a brain tumor? Well, there is hope. And there are ways to learn about and understand this devastating challenge. It just takes a little research, expert care, and a lot of faith. Everything you do and everything you are comes from your brain. It's the most complex organ in the human body. It causes the most difficult challenge for 3,000 children a year. Just ask 15-year-old Ricky C. Miller. Yes, it's difficult to live with this, but... Ricky has a brain tumor, an abnormal growth in his brain. You just live every day like anybody else. What exactly causes a brain tumor is still a mystery. But what Ricky does know is that he has a lot of support. Meet his mom, Liz. I always encourage him that he's just like everyone else. There's no limitations. Go as far as you can go. I mean, I just every day just encourage him to do things. And he does. That is why Ricky is here at the Sidetrack Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. Brain, the world inside your head, is a 5,000 square foot hands-on exhibit. Education and inspiration for children who just want to understand what's happening to them. This was the perfect place for the kids to come and learn a little bit more about um, the part of the body that's being affected by this very challenging disease. Challenge, yes. Giving up, never. I want to be a preacher. I want to just do whatever I can to give back to God, to thank Him for every day that He gives me, every second that I live. Seconds of life providing a lifetime of inspiration to Greg's mother, Kay. I just couldn't believe that this was happening to us. And Gregory said, Mom, now listen, I want you to take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, do it three times, and then calm down. He said, it's going to be all right. I mean, he had faith that was unbelievable. Unbelievable faith, insurmountable courage. Ricky says he's going to be an astronaut, brain tumor or not. Go to the moon just like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Well, we want to talk now to a young man who's overcoming the odds against his brain tumor. Frederick Kunitz and his mom, Beatrix Fauré, are joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. You just got back from South Africa. Yes. Yes. And what is this around your neck? I'm checking this out right here. Shark tooth. A shark tooth? Yes. Did you catch a shark? No, I didn't. <laughs> Where did you get the necklace? I bought it on the beach. All right, so you had a good time. Yeah, that was nice. Well, Frederick, te teach me and educate our viewers about your brain tumor. Tell us what it is you're dealing with. Um, I have a brain tumor, craniopharyngioma is the name. And it's not fun, but I have to deal with it. Um, I get headaches and my eyes say, isn't all that good and everything, but I'm okay. Well, so. I've, I've talked to some of your friends. I've talked with many people at the Brain Tumor Foundation for Children, and they say you are an exceptional young man, that you are very strong and very well-spoken and very well in school. Why don't you tell me what gives you so much strength, why you keep pushing on? I just figure that I should live my life and you know, I shouldn't worry too much about it and just try and be strong and just go on, and, you know. Just like everybody else, right? Yeah. Well, Mom, he's doing that. Why don't you tell us about how your son, I bet he inspires you every day, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he's, he's amazing. Um, I actually sometimes don't know where he gets the strength from to even carry on on a daily basis. He's doing tremendously well, although he has a lot of problems, obviously, with schoolwork and so on. He managed to make the honor roll with a 95.86%, so I was very wow. proud of him. You're on the honor roll. You didn't even tell me you were on the honor roll. <laughs> You're too humble, you know that? <laughs> Brag a little bit more about Frederick. Well, he's a very inspirational kid, you know. He has such a lot going for him. He's very bright and intelligent and is, is honestly probably the most wonderful person to 
to look up to. Um, he inspires his sisters and uh, everyone else around him he touches. And, and they fall in love with him. I can see why. It's those blue eyes, too. Yeah. All right. So now, besides a charming uh, everybody, what do you tell, let, let's say, I know you've probably met a lot of other kids your same age that, that have brain tumors. I've had a chance to meet a lot of them, too. What do you tell each other? Other, other kids that maybe just found out they got diagnosed with a brain tumor, what would you say to them, Frederick? To say that you should be strong and try and live your life to the fullest because there's really nothing that you can do other than be strong. What so. do you tell your mom when your mom may get a little emotional at times? What do you tell her? Just tell her that I'm going to be fine and don't worry about me. You're getting tears in your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> but you do worry about him, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's a very difficult life to live. You know, every day you kind of have this sword hanging over your head and it doesn't it doesn't go away well you received a lot of support not only from frederick saying mom it's going to be okay but the brain tumor foundation for children now there's this exhibit here in atlanta at sidetrack teaching kids hands-on experience on learning about their brain and tumors tell me how you have found support outside i mean obviously frederick's uh, strength has inspired you quite a bit but what else have you learned about this and that look he can he can make it years and years and years yeah I think the, um, the whole Brain Tumor Foundation and the, the little people's group that he belongs to is a tremendous uh, support group for us emotionally and in more than, than that. I mean, they, they our family, we're all part of this thing that we have to, to, to uh, battle. And uh, it's amazing how strong you get from just listening to other people. And then uh, I just take my hat off, for, uh, hat off for all of the doctors and the researchers out there working to try and find a cure for this horrible disease that no one have, uh, ever need to have part of their life. Well, Frederick, you say you thought about being a scientist, right? Yes. All right, so what do you think? You want to work on finding a cure for brain tumors? I think that would be a good thing, yes. And will you come back and talk to me about it when you do that? Yep, I will. Very good. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, Frederick and Trix, thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. All right. We well, can get more information at the Brain Tumor Foundation for Children. Here's the phone number, 770-458-5554, and the web address, www.btfcjiinc.org. All the information you need, but I'm sure you were just as inspired by Frederick. We'll be right back.